okay? The, with regards to uh, the basis of the relationship between the husband and the wife, then this is the foundation. It's living together in kindness. The ayat follows by saying that if there's something that you dislike about her, it may be the case that you dislike something that Allah has put a lot of benefit and good in. You may find that there are certain things about your wife or your husband that you dislike. That doesn't mean that it's not a good marriage or that it's not going to be a successful marriage. There's basic rights that both of the spouses have, which we're going to speak about first, and they're mentioned in here. It's a relationship based upon co mutual cooperation. Mutual cooperation. There has to be a level of respect between both spouses. In the case of we're both working mutually for the same goal and objective, which is to please Allah, to enter paradise. Because competitive means trying to outdo each other. And cooperative means working together for the same goal, for the same purpose. So obligate to obey the husband in the following things. Acts of intimacy. To leave from the house or to go on a journey without his permission. And to uh, carrying out chores such as cooking and other similar things. This is from the rights of the husband on his wife. The right of the wife upon her husband is that he has to uh, provide for her. He's a provider, he's the one that spends from his wealth. Uh, so he has to spend on his wife's expenditure and clothing in a fair manner, i.e. in kindness. And then it mentions a number of ayat and hadith. And live with them in kindness. وفي الحديث استوصوا بالنساء خيرا Treat women good, treat your wives good And also as well, the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said in the hadith The best of you is the one who is best to his wife And then the hadith of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said When a man calls his wife to come to his bed and she refuses and does not come to him And he spends the night angry Then the angels curse her till the morning The hadith is in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim when you get married, a lot of things change. Number one, there is a change in financial circumstances, money. Number two, there's a change in the house, because you move together and now you live together. So there's a change in living circumstances. Number three, there's, a, there's also new communication that has to open up, because where before there was a different type of communication, i.e. for example, a daughter communicating with her parents or her siblings, now it's, a different, now it's different because now you're communicating with your husband and the husband's communicating with his wife. So there's a change in the communication. Also as well, there's a change with regards to intimacy and romance as well. So these circumstances have all changed. And the fact that they've all changed means that we're in a situation, everybody that gets married initially they're in a situation, or they may be in a situation if it's the first time they've been married for example, where they have to acknowledge these change of circumstances and come to some type of agreement amongst each other how they're going to work these out. You know, certain people have different routines. Some people are morning people, some people are night people. That's just how it is, meaning that they get up early, other people they can't wake up early, they sleep in. Other people they like to stay up to late, other people like to go to bed early. So if you find, for example, this is the character, then there has to be some type of accommodating one another and communicating this information. I'm an early person, okay, if you're an early person, then you can get up and make breakfast. Okay, you're, I'm a late person, okay, if you're a late person, then you can pack the dishes away or something. There has to be some type of acknowledgement of these things so that you can fit your lifestyle into these character types because you can't, these things are hard to change. You can't get married and expect someone to now become a morning person, they've been an evening person their whole life, or someone that's not a morning person become a morning person. You're asking something which is not easy. Likewise, we've got spending habits as well. We're speaking about money, some people are spenders, some people are savers. Some people, they like to spend money, they don't see it as being waste. Other people see any type of spending as being waste. These are different circumstances that people have. Okay, now you're living together, you have to try to you have to come to a mutual agreement on these types of things. You know, you can't just say, okay, well, you have to follow me and be like I am, because I'm the man. It doesn't, it, 
doesn't work like that. It's not practical. That's not how it works. Likewise, as well, you have to, in other words, you have to find solutions. The solution is to accommodate and to try to get to some a mutual uh, and agreement or understanding. That certain things they they in many ways fixed and they're not irreligious. Meaning that it doesn't entail disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or going against Islam or going against the Quran or going against the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That being the case, these types of differences, they, they shouldn't be causes of shouting or bad type of or fighting or discord in the relationship. Instead of it becoming, oh this is mine and that's yours, it becomes this is ours. It becomes we as opposed to me and you. You become almost like one, and you will become one once you have children, definitely, because the children become half of you and half of her. This unison of marriage necessitates a lot of overlooking.